Hello everyone, welcome to channel. We are gonna talk about TLB, which is Translation Lucasite Buffers. Translation Lucasite Buffer TLB is a memory cache that stores recent translation of virtual memory to physical address for faster retrieval. When a virtual memory address is referenced by a program, the search starts in the CPU. First instruction caches are checked. If the required memory is not in these very fast caches, the system has to look up the memory's physical address. At this point, TLB checked for a quick reference to the location in physical memory. The TLB is sometimes implemented as Content Addressable Memory, CIM. The CIM search K is the virtual address and the search result is physical address. If the requested address is present in TLB, the CIM search yields a match quickly and the retrieved physical address can be used to access memory. This is called a TLB hit. If the requested address is not in the TLB, it's a miss. The translation proceeds by looking up the page table in a process called page walk. The page walk is time consuming consuming when compared to processor speed. As it involves reading the contents of multiple memory locations and using them to compute the physical address. After the physical address is determined by the page walk, the virtual address to physical address mapping is entered into TLB. Here we can see representation of it. Uh, here we have logical addresses and we have physical memory here. TLB is here. If the address in TLB, it's easier for us. But if the address is not in TLB, it has to check the physical memory, which is more time consuming. It's like cache of memory addresses as we remembered from caches from CPU cores. Here it's written step by step. And there are two TLB management. They are hardware TLB management and software TLB management. Let's explore them. With hardware TLB management, the CPU automatically walks the page tables to see whether there is a valid page table entry for the specified virtual address. If an entry exists, it's brought into the TLB and TLB access is retried. This time, the access will hit and the program can proceed normally. If the CPU finds no valid entry for the virtual address in the page tables, it raises a page fault exception, which the operating system must handle. Handling the page faults usually involves bringing the requested data into physical memory, setting up a page table entry to map the faulting virtual address to correct physical address, and resuming the program. With a hardware managed TLB, the format of TLB entries is not visible to software and can change from CPU to CPU without causing loss of compatibility for the programs. Let's move on with software TLB management. With software managed TLBs, a TLB miss generates a TLB miss exception and operating system code is responsible for walking the page tables and performing the translation in software. The operating system then loads the translation into TLB and restarts the program from the instruction that caused the TLB miss. As with hardware TLB ma management, if the operating system finds no valid translation in the page tables, a page trouble has occurred and the operating system must handle it accordingly. Instruction sets of CPUs that have software managed TLBs have instructions that allow loading entries into any slot in TLB. The format of the TLB entry is defined as a part of the instruction set architecture. Here are the resources I use it, you can check. I hope you liked the videos because this is the end of the videos uh, about operating system courses. I hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit like button as well. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.